B cell, Wikipedia article audio. B cells, also known as B lymphocytes, are a type of white blood cell of the lymphocyte subtype. They function in the humoral immunity component of the adaptive immune system by secreting antibodies. Additionally, B cells present antigen and secrete cytokines. It is mainly referred as humoral immunity cell in mammals, B cells mature in the bone marrow, which is at the core of most bones. In birds, B cells mature in the bursa of Fabricius, a lymphoid organ, and not from bone marrow as commonly believed. B cells, unlike the other two classes of lymphocytes, T cells and natural killer cells, express B cell receptors on their cell membrane. BCRs allow the B cell to bind to a specific antigen, against which it will initiate an antibody response. Development Activation B cells develop from hematopoietic stem cells that originate from bone marrow. HSCs first differentiate into multipotent progenitor cells, then common lymphoid progenitor cells. From here, their development into B cells occurs in several stages, each marked by various gene expression patterns and immunoglobulin H chain and L chain gene loci arrangements, the latter due to B cells undergoing VJ recombination as they develop. B cells undergo two types of selection while developing in the bone marrow to ensure proper development. Positive selection occurs through antigen-independent signaling involving both the pre-BCR and the BCR. If these receptors do not bind to their ligand, B cells do not receive the proper signals and cease to develop. Negative selection occurs through the binding of self-antigen with the BCR, if the BCR can bind strongly to self-antigen, then the B cell undergoes one of four fates, clonal deletion, receptor editing, energy, or ignorance. This negative selection process leads to a state of central tolerance, in which the mature B cells don't bind with self-antigens present in the bone marrow. To complete development, immature B cells migrate from the bone marrow into the spleen as transitional B cells, passing through two transitional stages, T1 and T2. Throughout their migration to the spleen and after spleen entry, they are considered T1 B cells. Within the spleen, T1 B cells transition to T2 B cells. T2 B cells differentiate into either follicular B cells or marginal zone B cells depending on signals received through the BCR and other receptors. Once differentiated, they are now considered mature B cells, or naive B cells. While immature and during the T1 phase, B cells express BCR of class IgH, but BCR expression changes to the classes IgM and IgD after transition into the T2 phase and while mature up to activation. B cell activation occurs in the secondary lymphoid organs, such as the spleen and lymph nodes. After B cells mature in the bone marrow, they migrate through the blood to slows, which receive a constant supply of antigen through circulating lymph. At the slow, B cell activation begins when the B cell binds to an antigen via its BCR. Of the three B cell subsets, FOB cells preferentially undergo T cell dependent activation while MZ B cells and B1 B cells preferentially undergo T cell independent activation. T cell dependent activation B cell activation is enhanced through the activity of CD21, a surface receptor in complex with surface proteins CD19 and CD81. When a BCR binds an antigen tagged with a fragment of the C3 complement protein, CD21 binds the C3 fragment, CO ligates with the bound BCR, 
and signals are transduced through CD19 and CD81 to lower the activation threshold of the cell. Antigens that activate B cells with the help of T cell are known as T cell dependent antigens and include foreign proteins. They are named as such because they are unable to induce a humoral response in organisms that lack T cells. B cell response to these antigens takes multiple days, though antibodies generated have a higher affinity and are more functionally versatile than those generated from T cell independent activation. T cell independent activation Once a BCR binds a TD antigen, the antigen is taken up into the B cell through receptor-mediated endocytosis, degraded, and presented to T cells as peptide pieces in complex with MHC2 molecules on the cell membrane. T helper cells, typically follicular T helper cells, that were activated with the same antigen recognize and bind these MHC2 peptide complexes through their T cell receptor. Following TCRMHC2 peptide binding, T cells express the surface protein CD40L as well as cytokines such as IL4 and IL21. CD40L serves as a necessary CO stimulatory factor for B cell activation by binding the B cell surface receptor CD40, which promotes B cell proliferation, immunoglobulin class switching and somatic hypermutation as well as sustains T-cell growth and differentiation. T-cell-derived cytokines bound by B-cell cytokine receptors also promote B-cell proliferation, immunoglobulin class switching, and somatic hypermutation as well as guide differentiation. After B-cells receive these signals, they are considered activated. Now activated, B cells participate in a two step differentiation process that yields both short lived plasma blasts for immediate protection and long lived plasma cells and memory B cells for persistent protection. The first step, known as the extrafollicular response, occurs outside lymphoid follicles but still in the slow. During this step, activated B cells proliferate may undergo immunoglobulin class switching, and differentiate into plasma blasts that produce early, weak antibodies mostly of class IgM. The second step consists of activated B cells entering a lymphoid follicle and forming a germinal center, which is a specialized microenvironment where B cells undergo extensive proliferation, immunoglobulin class switching and affinity maturation directed by somatic hypermutation. These processes are facilitated by TFH cells within the GC and generate both high affinity memory B cells and long-lived plasma cells. Resultant plasma cells secrete large amounts of antibody and either stay within the slow or, more preferentially, migrate to bone marrow. Antigens that activate B cells without T cell help are known as T cell independent antigens and include foreign polysaccharides and unmethylated CPG DNA. They are named as such because they are able to induce a humoral response in organisms that lack T cells. B cell response to these antigens is rapid, though antibodies generated tend to have lower affinity and are less functionally versatile than those generated from T-cell dependent activation. Memory B-cell activation As with TD antigens, B-cells activated by TI antigens need additional signals to complete activation, but instead of receiving them from T-cells, they are provided either by recognition and binding of a common microbial constituent to toll-like receptors or by extensive cross-linking of BCRs to repeated epitopes on a bacterial cell. B cells activated by TI antigens go on to proliferate outside lymphoid follicles but still in slows, possibly undergo immunoglobulin class switching, and differentiate into short-lived plasma blasts that produce early 
weak antibodies mostly of class IgM, but also some populations of long-lived plasma cells. B cell types Memory B cell activation begins with the detection and binding of their target antigen, which is shared by their parent B cell. Some memory B cells can be activated without T cell help, such as certain virus-specific memory B cells, but others need T cell help. Upon antigen binding, the memory B cell takes up the antigen through receptor-mediated endocytosis, degrades it, and presents it to T cells as peptide pieces in complex with MHC2 molecules on the cell membrane. Memory T helper cells, typically memory follicular T helper cells, that were derived from T cells activated with the same antigen recognize and bind these MHC2 peptide complexes through their TCR. Following TCR MHC2 peptide binding and the relay of other signals from the memory TFH cell, the memory B cell is activated and differentiates either into plasma blasts and plasma cells via an extrafollicular response or enter a germinal center reaction where they generate plasma cells and more memory B cells. It is unclear whether the memory B cells undergo further affinity maturation within these secondary GCS. B cell related pathology Autoimmune disease can result from abnormal B cell recognition of self antigens followed by the production of autoantibodies. Autoimmune diseases where disease activity is correlated with B cell activity include scleroderma multiple sclerosis, systemic lupus erythematosus, type 1 diabetes, and rheumatoid arthritis. Malignant transformation of B cells and their precursors can cause a host of cancers, including chronic lymphocytic leukemia, acute lymphoblastic leukemia, hairy cell leukemia, follicular lymphoma, non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, Hodgkin's lymphoma, and plasma cell malignancies such as multiple myeloma, Waldenstrom's macroglobulinemia, and certain forms of amyloidosis. Epigenetic A study that investigated the methylome of B cells along their differentiation cycle, using whole genome bisulfide sequencing, showed that there is a hypomethylation from the earliest stages to the most differentiated stages. The largest methylation difference is between the stages of germinal center B cells and memory B cells. Furthermore, this study showed that there is a similarity between B cell tumors and long-lived B cells in their DNA methylation signatures.